think about it, Christian. If Evangeline came out of her coma, how would you feel? I'd be happy as hell. Well, that's a given, but would you be happy as a friend or more than that? Okay. I didn't say anything, Sarah. No, no, you said anything. Have you heard the expression dead to the world? Because that was me. But for real. Evangeline found me and she told me that she could give me my life back. And she did. You know, she fought till she made that happen. And I'm never going to forget that ever. I don't know how a spoiled little rich girl rock star I want to be can Come compare on, Sarah, that. I don't see you that way. I don't. Sure you do. You know what? We just kissed. <laughs> it's not like we're going out or anything. Listen, I want to be honest with you, but I don't want to hurt you. Trust me, this is so far from hurt. It's okay, Christian. Are you sure? I swear. I mean, I'm just glad we got all this out in the open right now. I mean, think about if it were three months down the road, with all that screaming and yelling, one of us would have had to quit the club, and it wouldn't be me. So look, we saved you a job and a perfectly good friendship. If that's what we want. We really are better off this way. I mean, what were we thinking, huh? Not exactly sure. So, we better say goodnight before we do something stupid. See you at work. Yeah, I'll see you. Talking. And then you didn't say hello. 
And tell me something, how, how does your marrying Alex Olenoff fit into your search for enlightenment? Well, it enlightened me to the fact that I don't like to work. Plus, Alex always seems happier when she's married, so I threw her a bone. David, she's a gold digger. That's what I was hoping to do, but it didn't pan out. What? How much is she worth? Fifty-six dollars in checking. Oh. And about a jillion in hawk. Oh, so here I am, stuck in the boonies, <laughs> middle of nowhere, without two nickels to rub together. But that doesn't matter now, does it? Not when you've got friends. See, I never would have slept with my ex if I hadn't seen this man kissing this slut. You caught him with a hooker. No, actually, she passes herself off as a pillar of the community, but it doesn't matter. The fact is, I was so outraged, I couldn't see straight, let alone think straight. And there, suddenly, was my ex with open arms. Well, what was I supposed to do? Well, I, um, I wasn't there myself, so, uh... Charlie? I think that you are a very nice man. And I like you, even if you are a friend of the Buchanan's. Ma'am, I don't even know the Buchanan's. Then what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for someone, one of their guests, but this guy, Chuck, told me that they'd all left. Oh, you are so in love. I happen to be very familiar with the entire tribe. You've been so nice to me. Let me return the favor.